Hello everyone, and welcome to this video on getting started with Bold BI Enterprise Edition. In this video tutorial, we will discuss what Bold BI Enterprise Edition is, how to register and download the setup for Enterprise BI, how to install and deploy the download setup for Enterprise BI, how to start up and configure Enterprise BI, and how to create a simple dashboard using Enterprise BI. Bold BI Enterprise Edition is a business intelligence dashboard software launched by SyncFusion for creating, managing, and sharing interactive business dashboards deployed across your organization. It includes a powerful dashboard designer to build and share dashboards easily and offers security with a single sign-on authentication for integrating Active Directory and Office 365. Now let's look at the major features of Bold BI. To create interactive dashboards, you can securely deploy the Enterprise BI within your organization or use your own Amazon Web Services, Azure, GCE, or any other cloud provider account. Your data always stays within your firewall, and you have complete control. Using Bold BI Enterprise Edition, you can connect to more than 85 data sources. To know more about the supported data source list, go to the Bold BI website and click Explore Enterprise BI and navigate to the menu Integrations. There you will see a list of data sources supported, including the most common SQL and web-based data sources. If you need an application to access custom data sources, we will work with you to make those available. Bold BI Enterprise Edition also provides support to combine the data sources. For example, you could combine data from the Salesforce with data found in SQL Server and Jira. Enterprise BI can be used to derive and publish AI-powered insights using the data, and also to visualize the predicted results with past data without coding. Bold BI Enterprise Edition offers built-in support to refresh data from original sources. With simple configuration, you can ensure that the data is always up to date. Any team member can securely access data sources and build a dashboard using a simple drag-and-drop designer. You can easily share your dashboards and collaborate with other stakeholders and keep them in the loop with real-time alerts about pending notifications via email and also at the application level. Bold BI Enterprise Edition provides support to create customized schedules to share dashboards with stakeholders in a variety of formats and updates that can run for a specific number of times based on schedules. Enterprise BI also provides support to create interactive dashboards with more than 25 widgets, including bar charts, line charts, funnel charts, maps, heat maps, grids, and many more. Your users can view dashboards on any platform, including Windows, Linux, Mac OS, iOS, Android, and Chrome OS. Bold BI is supported by devices including computers, tablets, and phones. You can easily export dashboards to a variety of common image formats like PDF, and Excel, and share with those who may not have access to any dashboards. So far, we have looked at the major features available in Bold BI Enterprise Edition. Enterprise BI provides various dashboard examples with live demos under the Solutions menu in the Bold BI site for industry, department, and data analytics domains. For example, I choose the pharmaceutical analytics under the industry domain by clicking View Demo. Now the dashboard examples provided for pharmaceutical industry are visible. Upon clicking Learn More, the metrics description used for the pharmaceutical production analysis dashboard becomes visible, and this provides an overview of the production quality via cost and time. Clicking View Dashboard allows you to interact with the pharmaceutical production analysis dashboard. This doesn't require registration for Bold BI. Similarly, you can check more dashboard examples available under the Solutions menu. Next, the features and benefits of Bold BI Enterprise Edition can be viewed under the Features menu. Using the Integrations menu, click the list of data connections supported in Enterprise BI as explored earlier. Under the Resources menu, find the details about Enterprise BI, Getting Started Documents, user guide, a feedback portal to log features and bugs, release history, tutorial videos, blog posts, and white papers. By clicking Contact Us in the company's menu, you can submit your questions there, or if you already have an account, please log in to submit your questions. 
We have looked at the dashboard examples and other resources available to get started with Bold BI Enterprise Edition. Now, let's see how to register and download the setup for Enterprise BI. To start with Bold BI dashboards, I first register for Bold BI. To do that, I navigate to the pricing menu and click Start Your Trial. This will redirect you to the registrations page. Now, I fill in the credentials and accept the terms and conditions. Finally, I click Submit. Once the email is verified, I'll be redirected to the Bold BI Accounts page. Here you can download the setup for Bold BI Enterprise Edition. Now, the setup has been downloaded locally. Before installing it, have a look at the hardware and software requirements in the documents for deploying the Bold BI Enterprise Edition in your environment. You can find the documentation link in this video's description. Next, I will start installing the setup by clicking on it. I sign in with my Bold BI credentials to unlock the setup. Then I agree to the terms and conditions and click Next. I choose the portal license here. If you have only one subscription under your account, then this step will not be displayed. Now click Next. Then the Install Settings option to configure will be shown. Here, I change the installation location and web server type for deployment. Enterprise BI supports two types of web server for deployment, Microsoft IIS Express and Microsoft IIS. Any web server type can be chosen, and if required, the port number or site name can be modified, and then the Bold BI server deployed. We recommend Microsoft IIS for production environment and Microsoft IIS Express for testing and evaluation purposes. I choose Microsoft IIS Express now. By default, additional settings such as Start Menu Group and Create Desktop Shortcut are enabled. You can disable these settings if you don't need them and click Next. Then I give consent to use the third-party library, PhantomJS. This tool is used to take screenshots of the dashboard. Without this tool, some features of the dashboard will not work. After I read the terms and conditions, I click Next. Now, I need to give my consent to install a few additional client libraries. I read the license terms of each library and choose the ones I need. There is an option to skip this process and do it later at the location listed on the page found in the client library installer file. Using this, I can install the client libraries when needed. You can also refer to the documentation to do this and I have also included this link in this video's description. Now, I click Install. After installation is successful, I click Launch Application to launch the Bold BI Enterprise Edition in the default browser. Now, installation and deployment of the application is completed. Next, let's see how to start and configure Bold BI Enterprise Edition. The Bold BI application requires a database location to store the user's profile details, user's resources, in other words, the user's dashboards, permission details, and data extracted for specific connections and multi-tenant site information. This is called application startup, and it helps configure storage options and admin account setup. To configure the Bold BI Enterprise server, I click the Proceed to Setup button. Now, the site will navigate to the Bold BI server configuration page. I choose the server type from either Microsoft SQL Server or PostgreSQL, Azure PostgreSQL, or Amazon Aurora with PostgreSQL to store the site details. To connect with PostgreSQL database, I need to install PostgreSQL Client Library while installing the Bold BI Enterprise Edition. I choose the Microsoft SQL Server. I provide the credentials and the database name where Bold BI will store the user's profile details in multi-tenant site details. Credentials given to connect with the SQL Server instance must have permissions to create databases, create tables, and more. 
you can refer to the documentation about the permission requirements, which I have included a link to in this video's description. You can create a new database if you'd like, or you can choose an existing database from the server. Also, you can enable SSL for securing data transfers between Bold BI and your SQL server. Then, click Next to proceed. Now, the website will redirect to create an admin account for the Bold BI server. I enter a name and an email address and set the password for the admin account. While creating a new user account, a new system administrator group will also be created. By default, the system administrator group has the permission to create dashboards, data sources, and more. To learn more about the default permissions that were provided, click the documentation, which I have included as a link in this video's description. After confirming the password, I click Next. Let's move to the next database configuration. As I said earlier, database credentials are required to store dashboards, users, and their permissions. I provide the credentials and click Next. Again, I need to configure the data store, which acts as an intermediate database. Here, imported data from web database sources and statistic files are stored. This also stores the data offline to help users access the dashboards quickly. This configuration is optional and can be skipped by enabling the I will configure the data store later option. By default, this option will be enabled. After installation, I can check the site settings page to configure the data store if skipped. Finally, I click Next. Now, the necessary information to get started with Enterprise BI has been provided. You can also learn how to configure application startup about their required permissions to configure database connections in our documentation. You can find the documentation link in this video's description. There are two options, namely Manage Your Sites and Go to Dashboards. Manage Your Sites allows you to manage permissions for the sites created. Go to Dashboards allows you to create, edit, update the dashboards, and contains more options. I select the Go To Dashboards option. Finally, the application is configured and we are ready to create interactive dashboards. But before creating the first dashboard, I can explore the sample dashboards provided by clicking Explore. Choose any dashboard under the available categories and click Add Dashboard to Explore. Now, I click Close. Under the Dashboards module, a sample dashboard is added. I click the sample dashboard to view the metrics for the Northwind Trader Sales Analysis dashboard. Similarly, if you want to view other sample dashboards, click the Add icon available in the left navigation bar. Now, the Create Dashboard Sighting panel opens, and now choose Sample Dashboards. To know more about Bold BI User Interface, check out our video called Working with Bold BI User Interface, which you can find in a link mentioned in this video's description. Now, I will start creating a simple dashboard from scratch. To do that, first I click the Add icon in the left navigation bar, and I choose Start from Scratch, and enter a name for the dashboard and click Add and Design. Now, the Dashboard Designer interface opens for me to start designing a dashboard. Dashboard Designer consists of a toolbar at the top, a toolbar on the left containing widgets, an editor pane at the center of the page with a scrollable layout, and a navigation panel on its right with a data source pane and properties pane. I add a data source to the dashboard using the data sources pane. To learn how to connect to a new data source, you can check out the video link mentioned in this video's description. Here, I have created an SQL data source and connected it to the supply chain performance data. Then, I drag a radial gauge widget to the canvas and connect the created data source by clicking the settings icon available over the widget. The widget can be customized according to the requirement using the settings available in the properties pane. To know more about creating a dashboard, check out the corresponding video linked in this video's description. Finally, the sample dashboard is created. I publish it to visualize it. Now the dashboard has been successfully published. And this is how you create a dashboard from scratch.
In this video, we've seen how to register and download the setup for Enterprise BI, install and deploy the download setup, start and configure the Enterprise BI, and create a simple dashboard using Enterprise BI. Bull BI Enterprise Edition can be manually upgraded to the latest version at any time. You can also refer to our documentation to check the guidelines for upgrading to the latest version and for registration, installation, and deployment of Bold BI Enterprise Edition, which you can find linked in this video's description. To download the latest version and add more servers based on your deployment needs from the Bold BI site, click the profile icon available here. It will redirect you to the accounts page. Here, you can manage your subscription plans, payments, and add more servers based on your deployment needs. Please leave a comment for any clarifications or if there are any additional features you would like to see added in Bold BI. Thanks for watching.